Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Tabs video, and today I have something very, very special that I had planned for a while, took a couple hours setting up, and yeah. So it has something to do with the new um, update on the beta, which is the custom content, where I have created an entirely new faction called the YouTuber faction. I've created some of my favorite YouTubers, uh, the ones that were basically actually able to be created, because there's only a limited amount of things that you can use in the tab creator to make these things. So yeah, so I'll be showing off some of the creations that I have, and I hope you'll enjoy. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so first off we've got ZHC. ZHC has been one of my YouTubers that I've been a fan of for a while, mainly since the first time he did a Mr. Beast like collaboration video, when he made that like Tesla and stuff customized for Mr. Beast, that was when I first found out about his channel, and I've watched most of his videos since, and followed him on his posts and stuff. So yeah, I decided to make him in-game. They didn't have the stuff really for me to make his uh, creature kind of avatar that he has on his channel, but I was able to make basically the in-person version of him. So yeah, I've given him a couple powers and stuff, given him his like, art palette and uh, paintbrush so that he actually looks good. And yeah, I, tr I did my best to basically replicate him. So first off, I'll show you some of his abilities. So he's extremely strong against basically other melee fighters and stuff because he has the overpowered effect Frost Breath which is just so fantastic. It's so good on basically everything, no matter what kind of shields you got and things. And he's really good for like how low he costs, because he can just wipe them out completely instantly. Um, I've also tried to make him strong, I think, against ranged units. Let's see. Okay, okay, so he can take on a bunch of them. He blocks a couple. So I've set him up to block kind of like the painter already did, dodge and block sort of thing. Can't really take on big units, but they cost so much more than him that it's sh he shouldn't be able to, right? So yeah, he can't fight very well alone, he just wipes out basically the front line of enemies and slows people down. Yeah, so that's basically what ZHC is. He's the cheapest one of them all, even though he is one of the biggest YouTubers. Uh, I, I think he looks pretty good. Like, this is the best I could really do, because he wears very simple clothes and such. So yeah, this is basically the best I could do for him. Next up on our list is popular MMOs. Uh, I did my very best to recreate basically his avatar. Um, so basically it's a dark knight, kind of like the Lich King. I did my best to kind of create the diamond sword kind of look to it and stuff so that he looks really good. I think it looks pretty good, honestly, for the options that you have in tabs. But yeah, I, I paid as much attention to detail as I could to try and get this right. And he's once more uh, better for close-up fights as he is a melee unit. So let's see him fight off against... Uh, a massive headed knight with his two younger brothers. Needs a couple more backup though. Let's give him. Let's make it a fair fight. There we go. Small army of knights. Come on. Come on, popular MMOs. I made him slightly taller than like the average squire, right? Because he is popular MMOs after all. And yeah, and then he goes into enraged mode. Nothing can stop him now. He will destroy them all. You cannot beat him with his dual wielding diamond swords. Come on. Come on, popular MMOs. Finish them. Finish this. Don't fall off the edge! Oh, okay, that is that is very accurate to him in Minecraft. He would fall off an edge and die like this. Why? No, he lost it just because of that. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, well, we're gonna try that again. We're gonna try that again this time. This time, Pelfrey Mose versus... I, I don't know, could he beat a king? I don't know if he can beat a king. Let's see if he can beat a king. Come on, come on, get him. You got the two swords. Get him, dual wielding. You can dodge. Strike him down. Oh, yeah, no. So you can't handle, like, a big unit like that. Um, I think he can beat ranged units. I think I made him that way. So he is dual wielding. So he should be able... Yeah, he can block. So he can block arrows pretty easily and take out ranged units nicely. But big units and, like, the god killer would take him out. Uh, he can handle most melee units for the most part. So yeah, he's gonna take them out slowly. Come on. Come on, your size is making you weak against them. Come on, yes. There you go. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, so yeah, I guess we can try him out against a knight, because that's basically fair odds. See who wins, a knight versus popular MMOs. Come on, come on popular MMOs, you got this, come on. Come on, Pat, you got this, you work out hard. You got the big muscles. Slap him around, slap him around. Oh wait, no, did he lose? I think he lost, are you kidding me, popular MMOs? No, oh no, he won, okay, thank god, okay, he won. Never mind, he won. Good job, good job. Alright, so you can beat the knight and stuff. Uh, against ZHC, I don't know which one's better. ZHC versus popular MMOs. Because he's good against uh, walking units. Yeah, ZHC wins this because he has the frost. Uh, popular MMOs isn't big enough to survive a frost breath from him. 
Alright, next up on the list is Mr. Beast, one of my favorite YouTubers. I've seen basically every single one of his videos. I tried my best to make it, like, you know, actually look like him. You know, I'm gonna put him on blue team to make him look better. I, I did my very best to make him actually look decent. Uh, but yeah, so I got, like, the pink lightning bolts kind of going through him. He's got the claws. I tried to find a tiger head, but there's only a lion one, so I did my best on that to make him actually look like a beast. Yeah, so this is Mr. Beast. Uh, I, I tried to do him worthy. He's actually pretty cheap. Uh, but yeah, we'll have, how about Mr. Beast versus two popular MMOs? Who will win? So yeah, he's got the charge ability to make him, like, more of a beast. He's got the claw attack. And, yes, he, he shoots, um, Thor's lightning. Because, of course, he's Mr. Beast. He's got the pink lightning. I really wish I could have died at pink, because I totally would have. But yeah, see, he's super strong. Mr. Beast is really great. Uh, I don't know if he can survive ZHC's Frost Breath or not. Uh, he can charge in there really fast. Come on, Mr. Beast. Yeah, he got the lightning strike off, so yeah. Mr. Beast is definitely the best one out of the three of them. Uh, he's really good against pretty much everything, I think. Like, for example, if he was going up against a bunch of monks, let's say. He will win. Mr. Beast, get him. Cut him down with your claws, you got this. Slash him. Oh, it's so good. Thor's lightning is actually so overpowered sometimes. No, Mr. Beast, don't fall! No, okay. Okay, that, nope, nope, nope. Let's have a rematch here. How about I put you back a bit, you know, where you're more actually able to fight them. Here, come from the forest. The beast. The beast awakens from the forest. He pushes up. He charges in. He goes for the kill. He cuts one down. He goes for the other one. Oh, they throw. They thrust forwards. They're using their sticks, but Mr. Beast jumps over them. He's going for the back attacks. And the lightning strikes, knocking them down. There's only, like, a few left. Come on. We got another one. Claw to the face. Oh, this guy has such a tiny head. Oh, you, you poor, you poor person. You didn't even have a neck, bro. And there we go. Mr. Beast is a glorious victor. All right. Um, next up, next up on the list for the YouTubers, uh, I, I'm actually pretty proud of this one, um, is Dream. So I did my very best to recreate him in tabs because honestly, it's, a, it's almost impossible to recreate a skin. So he's got like the mask that, you know, covers his face. He's got, like, the green screen outfit. He wears white sneakers, so I put white sneakers on him. Here's his shield, and he usually uses a diamond axe in Minecraft. And then I put a light bulb on his head, because he always comes up with fantastic ideas for beating up people and stuff, like beating the odds, right? So I did my best to uh, make Dream actually prop, pop, proper. <clears throat> and so let's see Dream versus Popular Mo's, two amazing Minecraft YouTubers. Let's give a little bit of odds higher for Popular Mo's cost-wise. Look at that, he literally just one shot at Popular MMOs. Okay. Okay, it's dream, dream, dream. Don't throw yourself off the edge like that. I know you love jumping off of cliffs and using like MLG water buckets and horses and stuff, but come on, come on. I don't know if you can survive down here, Dream. Don't don't do this to yourself. Or or ne never mind. He was a genius. He got them he's drowning them. Wait, is someone alive up here? Dude, why is he making noise? Okay, he's dead. And oh, Dream win it! Did he just get himself killed? Or did he kill the last popular MMOs? Uh, I think popular MMOs died. That's red victory. Dream was red, right? Oh, I didn't do that. Uh, Dream, you were red team, right? Yeah, Dream was red. So Dream won that. Yeah, he got them all. See, so, yeah, I made Dream extremely powerful um, for offensive, not as strong for defenses, because he, like, he always crits people massively, so he's really good at that. Uh, I'm gonna do, let's see, Dream versus, how about a Minotaur? And, uh, some spearmen. Let's make this a fair fight. Uh, and how about a shield bearer? There we go, fair, a fair fight. Come on, Dream, you're going up against- Okay, Dream, stop jumping off the edge, really. Hey, Dream, let's put you back a little bit more on some solid ground. There you go, alright, Dream, you got this. Go, Dream, you got this. Use your diamond axe, cut him down. Cut him down, Dream! Oh yeah, I made him have a scare ability, so he actually scares people away, because that's literally what he does in his manhunt videos. He just terrifies them, even when he's at, like, half a heart, he still, like, scares them off. Like, I tried to give them, them all abilities that are equal to, like, their actual YouTuber channels. Like, I put a lot of thought and effort into the details of this thing to try and make it as accurate as possible for their battles. This is totally accurate battle simulator, after all. So yeah, guess he's scaring away the last guy. Get him, Dream. Cut him down. Chop his head off. Get him. Get him. Win it. Yes, Dream. Beautiful. Oh, Dream. Yes, you're amazing, Dream. Good job. You don't, don't you don't have to roll your eyes at him after beating him. Come on. Fine, Dream. I'll give you a bit more of a challenge. Dream thinks he's that good. We'll have to put him up against. 
the king. And another king. Alright, Dream, let's see if you can beat two kings. Because again, I think I made him more of a glass cannon than just um, a super overpowered. So I think he might actually die to the kings here. Oh, I also gave him um, the su uh, the super boxer's special punch ability, so it's kind of like a comeback thing. It's the way he uses like strength potions or makes his comebacks. Like, I really designed Dream, I think, in a proper way to make him actually accurate in this game. Like, I did my very best to make him as accurate as possible. Oh, it's glorious. Come on, Dream. Don't, don't, you're stuck in the fence, Dream. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, bro. Bro, you're so good, and then you get yourself stuck in the fence like that. Or maybe it's just a strategy, I don't know. Is he using some more big brain moments? Is this your idea, Dream? Get him stuck in the fence too? Oh my god, he got him stuck in the fence now. That was so smart! He got him stuck in the fence and then just went around him and killed him. Dream, that was genius. Okay, sir, sir, have you fallen in- Oh, okay. Come on, Dream, you don't have to beat him up with your shield. At least finish him off properly with the axe. Yeah, there you go. Come on, stab him. Um. Okay, finished him off with the shield. Fine, Dream, fine. Good job, good for you. Good. Yes, we know, we all- Okay, stop rolling your eyes when you win, Dream. But honestly, I think he's- I think he's perfect. He's one of my basically favorites for, um, battle-wise. Like, he has all the skills that are actually, like, Dream-related. Not the best, you know, looking-wise. I tried really hard, but yeah. Next up is one of my favorites by far, visually-wise. So great is Captain Sauce. He's been one of my favorite YouTubers for a very long time. And I- I watch basically all of his videos. He's amazing. Sadly, they did not have a tomato head, so it is a pumpkin head, a jack-o'-lantern, but I did my best to make it look as a tomato as possible. Same thing with the apples, let's just pretend these are tomatoes. I'll edit it in. Those are two tomatoes on him with an apple. I mean, a tomato head. Two tomatoes holding with a tomato. But yeah, I did my very best to replicate his outfit. I think I did pretty damn well. Like, it looks, like, really good outfit-wise. He's got the yellow boots, the green, like, uh, superhero outfit with the yellow cape and stuff. He's got the tomato head. I think I did a great job on this. Like, he looks good. And then, let's have him fight off against, of course, um, his, his greatest enemy, the halflings, the ones he hates, he can take them all down now. It is your time, Captain Sauce, here, here are all the halflings, they have come for you finally, it's finally your turn to actually fight them and defeat them. Alright, let's start this off. I gave him the power of throwing tomatoes! Get him, kill them all, and yeah, he flies, because of course, he's a superhero, right? So yeah, he actually flies backwards and runs away from his enemies, and the tomatoes do a lot of damage actually make them decent. I think he might actually get overwhelmed by halflings here though. Or he might just fly up in the trees and they can't hurt him. Let's see- oh, 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 they're going for him! And he's got a super punch! Yes, get him! Yes, Captain Sauce, beautiful. Oh, he's hiding in the trees, come on. Oh, they're coming back for another round. They're coming back for another round, no! Captain Sauce, don't die! Get out of there, you're stuck, get out of there! Oh, oh, no, he's fine. Oh, there we go, yes, 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 good job. Keep throwing your tomatoes, come on, come on, keep throwing them. Take down the ho take down the hobbits, take down the halflings. Yes, go for the punch. Oh, beautiful, beautiful punch there. Don't let him grab you, don't let him grab you. You're good, you're good. Oh, like he's so good, honestly. Well, like I did my best to design him in the perfect way. And now he finally gets his vengeance on the halflings, on the hobbits, just finally, come on. Yes, pummel them in the heads, yes. Oh my god, right in the head, right in the noggin. Oh my god. And that's it. A tomato to the face. Finally, Captain Sauce gets his revenge. Oh, yeah. But yeah, he's amazing. Captain Sauce, I love a lot. Um, Let's see him actually go up against... How about Dream? They're around the same price range. So Captain Sauce versus Dream. Who will win? Uh, I think in combat-wise, Dream would beat Captain Sauce. Yeah, Dream's got, like, the lightning ability defense, I think. Oh, my God! Captain Sauce just, like, flew halfway across the map. Like, he went right up into that tree. That was a beautiful dodge. Did Captain Sauce actually just win that? He just, he just killed Dream. He actually beat Dream by throwing a tomato into his chest, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Well, uh, here, here you've heard it. Uh, Captain Sauce is better than Dream in PvP. Clearly, the superior one. Next up on the list is another one of my favorites, by far, from a channel that I've watched for a very, very long time, which is Call Me Kevin's channel, and I couldn't really create him, because it's, it's almost impossible to create Kevin, especially in tabs with the limited resources, but I did create Jim Pickens. So feast your eyes on the fantastical Jim Pickens. You may not get the references here, but there are a few of them. For example, the fish from his Hitman series, where he uses the fish to kill people, mainly. And then, yeah, I tried to replicate the outfit and, like, his style 
in general for Jim Pickens. So yeah, I, I think it's pretty good. I think I did a pretty good job on this. Jim Pickens looks pretty cool. All right, let's do Jim Pickens versus... Hmm, who would Kevin slaughter? Uh, I, I think he'd slaughter an entire family. So let's have the little kids. We'll have some kids. Um, we'll have... We'll have... Let's see. We'll have... How about a uh, king as the father uh, with his guards? Oh, that's already too expensive. Okay, let's do Squires instead. They're protecting their people from the evil Jim Pickens. They've come to stop him. But yeah, of course Jim Pickens has an AK-47. You know, you, you can't not give him an AK-47. He has to have one. So yeah, he's basically a ranged unit and a melee unit combined, making him extremely overpowered in both of those senses. Come on, Jim Pickens! Okay, I think Jim Pickens died to the sword. Yeah, okay. Maybe the king wasn't the good idea. How, let, let's, let's do, like, how about some archers instead? Let's make this a little more fair. How about we'll do a bunch of little squires. There we go. There we go. So yeah, I don't think it's really good against major big units because big units can just walk up to him and survive the bullets. But basically any ranged unit can't hurt him because he has his glorious fish that blocks everything. And then he has his beautiful, beautiful um, AK-47 to shoot everything from a distance. And then also if things get too close, he can use his fish on them. Yes! Yes, Jim Pickens! Kill them all! Brutally murder them! Come on, come on, Jim. Get him. Get him. Come on, come on. There's just two left. Come on. Don't. Yeah, yeah. Go all out. Yes, there we go. Beautiful. This is what they deserve for daring go against the amazing cult leader, Jim Pickens. They cannot survive. Next up on the list is probably the fav. My favorite thing. Even better than Captain Sauce, better than Jim Pickens, better than Mr. Beast, Popular Mo, ZHC, Dream, and everything. My favorite one by far, and one of the most expensive, is Panda Genie who you may not know at all, because they're a slightly smaller channel, um, from MXR Plays, Panda Genie, also from the Panda Crusaders channel. This is the glorious, an amazing, fantastical fighter, Panda Genie. The strongest of all, um, warriors in the game, for sure. And to show you off Panda Genie's absolute might, let's have Panda Genie fight the king, let's have Panda Genie fight, how about, um, let's fight the pirate queen, uh, Panda Genie's the true queen. Let's do a pirate captain. Let's make the odds pretty unfair. All right, let's see it. Panda Genie, show show them how show them how ferocious you are and strong. Yes, go Panda Genie, cut them down. Show them, show them your powers. Show them your powers. Yes, Panda Genie, you've got this. We believe in you. Take them down. And Panda Genie wins while doing like a backflip. How adorable and perfect. Panda Genie is the strongest of all. Clearly, far superior. Let's see pirate queens. Let's make an army of them. 3 to 1 money wise. Come on, Panda Genie. Beat the Pirate Queens. Show them who's the true queen. Come on, Panda Genie, you got this. Because Panda Genie has a secret up her sleeve if she gets low. You'll see what I'm talking about if the Pirate Queens can actually get her low. Oh, never mind, they actually killed her. Okay, wait. We need we need something to show. Come on, not Pirate Queen, I guess. Let's go something with a little less damaging. How about Panda Genie versus a Minotaur? Um, and a, some Raptors. Panda versus its predators. Come on, Panda- No, Panda Genie! No! No! No, Panda Genie! Okay, there's the secret power, but I think it's too late, Panda Genie. I think you can't- I, can't, I don't think you can save yourself now. Wait, maybe Panda Genie can still win this! Wait! Wait! Wait, wait, oh, I think Panda Genie lost. Yeah, no. Backing Bull still survived. Okay, wait, Panda Genie. I'll have to put you back a bit farther so you don't die. Alright, alright, show off your power again, but this time don't die with it. Actually beat them, come on. Come on, Panda Genie. Come on, go get it. go get the Minotaur. You got this, Panda Genie. Cut him down, cut him down. Cut him down. Oh, I think Panda Genie just destroyed them. Okay, yeah, they all just instantly died. Uh, let's make this a little more fair then. Um, uh, actually, no, let's do Mr. Beast. Let's have the two beasts. Mr. Beast. Let's do three of him versus Panda Genie. Who will be the winner? Okay, Mr. Beast got first charge off. Uh, he does have his Thor's Lightning, so that might be a problem for Panda Genie. Or not, or not, Panda Genie just took out one of them. And... Did Panda Genie just kill both of them, or did they kill Panda Genie? Nope, he's dead, and... De oh my god, Panda Genie actually killed both of them! I didn't even see Panda Genie hit Mr. Beast, oh my god, that was beautiful. Okay, clearly we need more Mr. Beasts. Alright, five Mr. Beasts versus one Panda Genie. Alright, oh no, 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 we're not, we're not letting Panda Genie go fly off, off the edge. That is unfair, Mr. Beast. You gotta fight fair here. Okay, that is also... Not super fair. Oh, oh yes, Panda Genie! Secret move! Yes! The tornado, it's glorious. Panda Genie actually has one of the largest tornadoes I've seen in this game. 
Like, Panda Genie's Tornado is massive. Like, look at this thing. It's huge. It covers, like, all the way up into the sky. It's, and thing is, it's thick, too. Like, it's not even just normal size. It's thick as thick. I think Panda Genie's gonna win this. Even against that many Mr. Beasts. Like, that's the difference in their power. Panda Genie is the ultimate uh, warrior. Far superior to the Mr. Beasts. Far superior. Uh, next up on the list, I'm gonna skip over myself. This is one that Piper wanted me to create, so I created myself. I didn't really want to, but I, I did my best to make me. But first off, we're gonna show off Magic Jim Pickens, or also known as Dark Jim Pickens. So this is this is Jim Pickens if he had magic in the game. So it's basically his normal model, but I gave him, you know, some of the most overpowered powers ever. So him facing off, for example, against ZHC, Popular MMOs, Mr. Beast, Dream, Captain Sauce, a normal Jim Pickens, and Panda Genie all together. I don't know. I don't think they can beat him. I'm pretty sure he can beat them. They can block his shots and lightning bolt him. And there we go. The hands are just overpowered as feck. It's down to Panda Genie. No, Panda Genie! Yeah, yeah. No, he's overpowered as fecking hell. Like, even if we use the stronger units, like if we used a bunch of Captain Sauce, for example, like an army of him, like an entire army of Captain Sauce going after him, I think he'd still beat them. Yeah, because he blocks all the tomatoes. Like, look at that. Bam, 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 bam. Just blocks them and then kills them. They don't even stand a chance. Even if we had, like, a bunch of Jim Pickens using miniguns, or AK-47s, but, like, as miniguns because of the bullet fire rate. I, yeah, look, he just blocks all of them. Like, you literally can't do any uh, distance damage to him, and they don't even get close to him. The only way I think would be if, um... Oh, yeah, Mr. Beast was the way to kill him. Uh, so I was testing it out before to see, like, if any of the YouTubers could actually beat uh, Jim Pickens, or Ma Dark Magic Jim Pickens. And it's Mr. Beast, I think, can, because, yes, his Thor's lightning ability. So, uh, Dark Jim Pickens doesn't have a super, super huge amount of health, so if you get enough Thor's lightnings in, he dies instantly. Like, if I removed a couple Mr. Beasts, let's have, let's have 25,000, yeah. I think this is more than enough to kill him. Yeah. Even if I think there was only, like, half a dozen of him, let's see if this is enough to kill him. Because he's really overpowered except for the Thor's lightning attack. Uh, red victory. Okay, no, that was Jim Pickens. Jim Pickens is red. Alright, let's try two more then. Eight of them. Is this enough to kill him? Yeah, there we go. So, about seven or eight of, um, Thor's lightnings to the face, and Jim Pickens will absolutely be destroyed, like dark Jim Pickens. And he goes high. Like, he doesn't just stay low. He goes really high in the sky when he gets zapped. Like, oh, his poor body. His poor, poor, disfigured body just thrown up here. Oh, the pain that is. Okay. Like, just look at this layered lightning attack. Like, that is insane, this layered lightning attack. Insane. Okay. And now, last but not least is me, the fabulous Starstalker28, who I designed basically as um, a sword-wielding dark demon god thing of space. Yeah, so I'm basically some sort of god of the universe. Supposedly, that's the lore behind this. And let's see, me versus... Uh, how about Dark Gem Pickens? I will show you my powers. Yeah, I can block things, I've got the Thor's lightning ability, but yeah, one hand strike from um, Dark Jim Pickens and I'm gone. All right, Ice Giants, go get Star Stalker. You got this, you got this, guys, come on. Use your Frost Breath on him, freeze him up. I'm pretty sure he's immune to Frost Breath because he's high off the ground, or at least takes less um, frost damage. Yeah, see, like, he's not getting frozen solid right now. And he's actually using his sword ability. Oh, they're actually getting some punches off. Alright, come on. He's frozen a little bit. Come on, Starstalker. Come on, get enraged. Yeah, see, once he gets enraged, then he starts whipping swords out extremely fast. Come on. Come on, you got this. Come on. Come on, Ice Giants. Just do a little bit more damage to him so he gets enraged. Come on, piss him off. Come on, piss him off. Piss him off. Come on, piss him off. How is he... How is Starstalker28 not pissed off yet? How am I not pissed? I'm being blasted by Frost Breath. I'm being slapped in the face by massive meaty fists, and I'm not pissed off. Oh, I think I'm, I think, oh, there we go, there we go, oh my god, there we go. So that's what happens when, um, I get pissed off, you know, uh, this beautiful, beautiful array of swords that just flings out, like, the, literally, the enraged plus the sword power is a, a little overpowered, just to say the least, like, look how many swords hit him. That was, like, a second or two, and it wasn't just him that got hit, he got hit, and the other one got hit by swords as well. Like, the swords just go flying out of you once you hit that, like, level. If I did Arena, for example, and I did YouTuber, and I did Star Stalkers, and I had them fight off against each other. Here we go. Let's see who wins. 
the three on three. They get into range, start attacking with their ice swords and such. Oh my god, the fight. The thing is, the swords go flying because they get deflected, which lags the game, because the swords just become basically, like, floating things in the skies. Oh my god. There we go, the enrage has started! Okay, wait, let, let's slow down time. Oh, I'm paused. Just... Oh, it's super slow time. Okay, wait. Let's do it, uh... Let's do a little faster. Okay, okay. So, look basically what's happening. So, the speed of the swords being thrown out, this is, like, the slowest you can basically go. Uh, if I do that... Oh my god, and that was just like a second longer. Look how many swords are in me! Like, look how many swords are in me right now. Look how many swords are over here. Like, every single Star Stalker is now just basically a porcupine. Like, they're all porcupines now, because they're pissed off. And then, like, if it goes... Like, look at the lightning arrows as well. Thing is, it's not just the swords, it's lightning arrows too. Oops, I didn't mean to kill them over. Uh, there they go, let's let them play out for a little bit longer. Like, the walls, like, they're literally just porcupines now. Oh, finally one of them died. One of them died, finally. After that many swords, lightning arrows, and just attacks to the face, he's finally dead. Oh! Oh! Oh, that- this Star Stalker was- had a two-on-one. Okay. More of them died. Wow, okay. Okay, then. But yeah, so this is basically what happens with Star Stalker 28 fights Star Stalker 28. And this is the consequence. Just pure lightning and swords everywhere. Um... Yeah, and if you have, like, Dark Jim Pickens versus Dark Jim Pickens, it's basically, I think, whoever gets the first hand attack off. Yeah, it's whoever gets the first hand attack off that wipes them out. Again, they don't have enough health to survive a hand attack. So, yeah, that's basically all the YouTubers that I've created right now. I created ZHC, Popular MMOs, Mr. Beast, Dream, Captain Sauce, um, Jim Pickens from Call Me Kevin's channel, Panny Panda Genie from MXR Plays, um, and I created Dark Jim Pickens, again, from Call Me Kevin, and then myself, because that was requested. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these uh, amazing YouTubers. Please go check them out and subscribe. They're some of my favorite YouTubers. Love them all so much. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now!